it's that time of year again where we need to give you an update on our Buick Swans. We're here in the Peng Observatory overlooking the Rushy where all of the action takes place this winter and it's been another good breeding season for the species. This year we've seen at least 28 cygnets on the pond with over 130 birds identified throughout the season and that's all thanks to those unique bill patterns. These unique bill patterns allow us to identify the birds as individuals, give them names, see who's paired with who, and how successfully they're breeding from year to year. It was a study that started here at Slimbridge by our founder, Sir Peter Scott, back in the winter of 1963-64. In that February, he looked out across the pond, identified 24 individuals, and then realized that 16 of those actually came back the following winter. One of the birds from that cohort was Lancelot. He lived to at least 25 years old and has become one of the oldest birds we've known from the study. The oldest known bird from the study was a bird called Brimstone, who was 29 years old. And we've got several birds that are on the pond today, which are reaching a good age of 25, 26 years old, and some descendants from long lineages we can trace right the way back to the start of the study. One of the birds on the pond this year is a bird called Croupy, who's paired with a partner called Wheel. They've got two cygnets this year, and Kruppi himself, his lineage we can trace right the way back to 1969, when his great-grandparents Caroline and Nijinsky were here on the pond. One of their offspring was a bird called Casino. She lived to 26 years old. One of her sons was a bird called Croupier. They were last on the pond together in 1997, when Casino was 26 years old, and Croupier was just a youngster at only six years old. But he went on to pair up with a bird called Dila. They were together for 19 years, had 32 signets in their lifetime, Krupia being one of them. And now he's bringing back his own signets, continuing that family lineage. And we've got several other families on the pond as well. We have Maisie and Mayfeld, who have got two signets. And Maisie was one of the birds that we could follow as part of the Flight of the Swans project a couple of years ago. And then two other big families, Tranmore and Turlac, with their three signets and then ananas and mayweed also with three cygnets. Now we know from the Buick Swan bill pattern study that these birds pair for life, they're long-lived birds, but unfortunately we do have a high mortality, we are seeing lots of birds die, so if an adult loses its partner it will repair. So pairing for life, but can have multiple partners in a lifetime. That said, there's always one bird that bucks the trend, and that bird is on the pond with a signet this year, and that's a bird called Serindi, and she's one of only two birds which have ever been recorded getting divorced during the Buick Swan study. Now, although every bill pattern is completely unique, we can split them down into three different types. By far the most common bill pattern type are what we call yellow nebs. Those are birds which have got lots of yellow on the bill. It goes from one side across the top and down to the other. They make up around about 60% of all bill pattern types. The other 40% are then more or less equally split between our two other bill patterns, dark nebs and penny faces. Dark nebs are birds which have got lots of black on the bill. That black starts at the top of the forehead and runs down to the tip and it splits the yellow into two on either side of the bill. And then penny faces are third bill pattern type. They've usually got lots of black but with a splodge of yellow in the middle in the shape of a coin, hence the name penny face and sometimes they can form quite intricate patterns. It's almost like you've drawn a donut on the bird's face. So when you're visiting the reserve in the winter months and looking out across the rushy at our Buick Swans, why not have a go? See if you can identify an individual, follow it around the pond, or spot a bird from each of the three bill pattern types. You can also head to the website and check out our swan blog, see who the latest arrivals are, who's been turning up on the pond this season. And it's not going to be too long before these birds are heading back up to the Russian tundra up on their breeding grounds to start the next generation. But there's still loads of wildlife to see through the season. Certainly a changing time, winter birds starting to leave, spring birds starting to arrive. And we've got the perfect event to help you see all the different species, the big hideout happening this February half term.